Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. So in this flow series we will understand how to upload a file through ScreenFlow in Salesforce. So in previous videos I have explained what is ScreenFlow, how to create ScreenFlow, which are the elements we can use in ScreenFlow and, and various uses of ScreenFlow. The video link I have given in the description box, you can go through it and there you will be easily understand the core concept of ScreenFlow. Now in this video we will see how we can upload the file using ScreenFlow. So in this video, first we will understand this scenario, then we will create the screen flow, then I will explain the elements that we are going to use in this flow. After that I will show you how to debug this flow and after debugging we will activate this flow and place this flow on the account record page. So watch the video till end and don't miss any step. After that you can also able to create screen flow to upload a file. And if you are new to our channel, hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon so whenever we post any new videos you will get an update. So here is our scenario. We want to create a screen flow which will create contact record related to an account and in that contact record we need to upload a file using screen flow. And after creating this screen flow we will place this screen flow on the account record page. So without any delay let's jump to the salesforce org. So this is salesforce home page. To navigate the flow builder in the quick find box search for the flows. Under the process automation here you can see here we have flows click on it. Then here we are going to create new flow for that here we have new flow button click on it. Now after the updation here we have two options start from scratch and then use a template. So here I will explain how we can create a screen flow from start. So here I am going to select start from scratch and then click on next. So here we need to select screen flow and then click on create. Now very first we need to add a screen component to take the input from the user so that we can create the contact records. For that here I am clicking on add element and then in the interaction we have screen component and this screen component only available in screen flow. If you open the record trigger flow and other flows you will not get this screen flow component. So here I am clicking on screen component. Now add the label for the screen. So here I am entering create contact related to account. As you click on API name it will be automatically populated. Now we need to add input components to this flow. So let's check which are the mandatory fields on contact object. For that here I am navigating to the contact object. Click on app launcher search for contacts. Here I am clicking on new button. So here we have last name as a mandatory field. Only this field we have mandatory on this object. So here I am closing this. Again we get to the flow builder. Now in the search component here I am searching for text. You can click on this component or you can drag this and drop to the screen component. Now here we need to provide label for this text component. So here I am entering first name. And again I am adding another text component for the last name. And then done. Now after getting input from the user through this screen component we need to create the contact record. And also we want to relate this contact for a particular account. For that first we need to create variable which will take the input of account id. So here I am clicking on this toggle toolbox. And here you can see here we have new resource click on it. In the resource type we need to select variable and here I am entering record id. Make sure the API name exactly like this because whenever we are taking the record id from the outside of the flow we should enter API name of this particular variable exactly like this. Then in the data type here I am selecting text. And then here you can see availability outside of the flow here we need to select available for input. Because whenever we place this screen flow on the record page it will fetch the account id and store over here. And now here I am clicking on done. After that we need to add create record element. So here I am clicking on add element. Search for the create record. Click on it. So here I am entering label create contact. 
click on API name and now how to set record field values here we need to select manually because we are creating the contact from the screen component and in the screen component we have only limited fields for that here we will assign the screen component values to the contact object so in the object here I am searching for contact because we are going to create record for the contact object so here we have standard contact object click on it and then here you can see the last name is automatically populated that means whichever object you will select here the mandatory fields will automatically appear over here so first we need to assign last name value from the screen component for that click on values here you can see here we have screen component click on it and select last name again click on add field because we also need to assign the first name so here I am searching first name and whatever fields we have on the left hand side are all the contact objects fields now again assign the value screen component and then first name and now to relate this created contact to an account so here we need to add another field which is account id so as you click on search field here you can see here we have account id which is a relationship field with the account object so here i am selecting this and in the value we need to provide record id variable that we created now after creating this contact we need to upload a file and to upload that file we need contact id which we recently created for that here you can see here we have manual assign variables so here we have checkbox we need to check this checkbox and after that here you can see here we have store contact id in variable that means whenever this contact will be get created we will get an contact id and using that contact id we can upload a file so here we need to create new variable for that here you can see search variable click on it and then click on new resource so here we are going to create new resource for that select variable and in the api name here i am entering contact id so here we don't need to follow any naming convention except the spaces because in the api name we cannot give space instead of that we can use underscore and after that in the data type we need to select text and then click on done and now simply close this now again we need to add screen element where we can add upload file component so for that again click on add element click on screen for this screen component here i am entering upload a file a pen will be automatically populate now in the search component search for the file upload drag this and drop to the screen component now here we need to provide api name so here i am entering file upload now provide the label so here i am entering upload a file scroll down and here we need to add related record id that means for which object we are going to upload this file so here we are going to upload file for the contact object and which contact record that we recently created so that record id variable we created in the create record element so as you click on it scroll down and here you can see here we have contact id select this and then click on done so additionally here i am adding one screen to display the message this one is optional you can ignore the screen screen in the components so first we need to add label for the screen message screen and then in the components search for the display text enter the api name so here i am entering display text in the text template here i am entering your file has been successfully uploaded you can bold this you can change the color and then click on done now save this flow for that click on save button here i am entering 
upload file then click on save let's debug this click on debug provide the record id let's take the record id from the account object here i am opening this account so here we have record id in the url here you can see here we have record id copy this and navigate to the flow builder so here i am providing record id of account record and then click on run enter the first name test flow then click on next upload a file click on upload file button so here i am selecting this one youtube slides and then click on click on done and then click on next and here you can see your file has been successfully uploaded and then click on finish now let's customize the buttons so here in the screen flow i am opening the screen flow click on this footer here you can see configure footer click on it so here you can see for the next button here i am clicking on user customize label and here i am entering next then click on done in the upload file again configure the footer customize the next button here i am entering upload click on done and then for the message screen finish button is okay for this and then click on close again save the flow and then activate it now we will add the screen flow on the account record page for that navigate to the account record so here we are account record page then click on accounts so here i am opening this tnr corporation here we only have one contact so we want to place that screen flow on the account record page for that here you can see click on the gear icon then click on edit page now in the components we need to search for flows here you can see under the standard option we have flows drag this and drop to the account record page so here you can see here we successfully added now here we need to search for the screen flow that we created for that click on this flows remove this and search for the flow name that we provided so here we provided upload file save this click on activate then assign as a work default and then click on next and then save again click on save and now navigate to the account record page for that for that click on back arrow and now here you can see here we have flow that we created so first we need to provide contact information so here i am adding upload file so here i am going to click on next now here we need to select the file for that click on upload files so here i am selecting this image salesforce youtube icon select this and click on open file successfully uploaded click on done then click on upload and now here you can see here we have message screen which is your file is successfully uploaded now as you navigate to the contact object here you can see here we have file upload contact has been successfully created as i open this contact record scroll down and under the notes and attachment here you can see salesforce youtube icon file has been successfully uploaded so in this way we can create the screen flow to upload a file in salesforce if you like the video hit the like button subscribe our channel and press the bell icon so whenever we post a new video you will get an update see you in next video thank you